DM Anonymous. I've got a question here, Emily, and it says, As a PM, if I feel my skills are not up to scratch, what should I tell my boss when I'm put on a project? Oh, wow. Okay. So we all know we don't want to tell our boss, I can't do it. Bosses don't want to hear that you can't do it. That sounds like you're making excuses. But also, bosses don't want to hear that you can do it if you can't. Mm. Because managers, senior managers, whatever level his or her boss is, um, has responsibilities of their own. So what should this individual do? I think that's more of a longer conversation. What are your expectations, manager? And to figure out what that project manager is currently able to do and then what skills they need in order to meet those. Is this something where they can read, they can research, they can take a class, or is it something that they'll be able to bring in a partner or even to delegate mm. this to someone else? And maybe that's a, um, an opportunity for the project manager to get some mentoring from someone oh. higher up within the organization. And actually, if it's looked at as an opportunity and presented that way, then that project manager looks more responsible and um, mm -hmm. more reliable in the long run because they've learned a new skill. Right. It seems, and I'm being naughty here, but it seems that from the domain of the domain on this email address, it's an IT company. So could it be that this person is scared of maybe maybe Java or JavaScript or C++? I don't know. But oh. what would you what advice could you give someone who maybe is an IT project manager, but for the life of them couldn't distinguish between hardware and software? Well, okay, so this is something that a lot of people argue back and forth on. If you're a project manager, do you have to be an expert in everything to which your project is fixing or changing? Hmm. And a lot of people say no. If you're an expert project manager, then you can manage anything. Hmm. Now, we all know your job as a project manager is much easier if you understand the vocabulary and you're able to, to better assess risks because you know how the technology works. So, you know, this is a this is an individualistic type of um, situation to analyze, but there's always the ability to get training. There's, That's true. Yeah. There, there is. And um, I was speaking to a buddy of mine who used to work at the office, and um, he ends up going to work for another company. And then I see him last week, and I'm, I'm like, "Hey, how are you doing? Where are you?" And he says he's moved companies, and the company he is now is more like a director level person. And he's taken technologies that he learned in this company he went to work for first to this new company. I'm like, you really have mastered what you learned in this first company when you just left. And he says, no, Phil, you know, I just know who to go to to get what I need. So a lot of times, like you said, PMs think they need to be the you know, be all end all of the project. They have to be the know it all, you know, even on IT projects. And I don't think it has to be the case, does it? No. And that is a, a barrier that all people go through when they become a manager uh, from an individual contributor because there are actually different styles of working. As an individual contributor, you need to be an expert on the work that you're doing. Right. As a manager, you don't have to be an expert on the technologies. And in fact, many project managers know you lose mm. a lot of your technical expertise when right. you start doing what's necessary to be a successful project manager. Right. Mm -hmm. So I... I mean, I think every person is different, but it's a matter of communicating and really understanding what's, what's at risk and, and um, what's expected of the project manager. So being honest, really, just if you need mentoring, get mentoring. If you need coaching, get coaching. And, you know, one of the words in the PMBOK guide, do you remember the tool and technique that's most talked about in the PMBOK guide? You know which one? Is this expert judgment? Expert judgment, of course, expert judgment. I mean... Expert judgment comes from a variety of sources. It does. A lot of PMs, they've got hang-ups. They don't want to go to people and say, I don't know. They don't want to be honest. And, you know, my two cents would be, be honest. If you don't know, you don't know. But in all of that, have a get-stuff-done mindset. You know, as Jack Welch calls it, have a get-it-done mindset to, no matter what happens, go all out, find the resources, and make it happen. But I'm curious, you've got all sorts of technical certs. Mm -hmm. Do you have any you know, additional two cents for this PM who is in the IT world? Well, the thing about IT is it's always changing. And so 
it's worth analyzing what technology is it that that PM is is lacking. Is it okay. a technology that's on the wayside, or is it something that's that's new and upcoming? And in, in mm-hmm. this project manager sees potential for multiple projects, and you know everybody's talking about big data now, and there's all right. sorts of technologies that make that up. Is that the area? Just one example. Um, and so also, how interested is that uh-huh. project manager in learning? It's right. a different skill set mm-hmm. to work with technology. Sometimes it is. A lot of people successfully can be managers right. uh-huh. and individual contributors or IT professionals. Um, but So my recommendation is know yourself, mm. know what you like, know what you're good at, and it, and find someone that you work with maybe, hopefully, right. that is a complement and can augment your weaknesses and, and build you up. That's a really good point. Find another expert, you know, find an yeah. expert. Well, thank you so much, Emily. That was a really interesting question because um, in today's world, lots of people I hear from go to interviews that are predominantly for IT projects. So if you have any questions, be you from engineering or healthcare, wherever you're from, um, please send them in to praiseon.com. Go to info at praiseon.com. Send an email to us. 